I don't view local as a as a segment. I view local as an amalgam of a variety of different uh, verticals. So an example would be uh, a deli or a locksmith. And I think that one of the mistakes that people in the local industry make is they try to provide tools and capabilities and offerings to everyone in the quote local segment. And I think going forward, the winners and losers in the various segments are gonna be companies that specialize in one particular industry. So an example would be Seamless or Grubhub in the online food ordering space or Open Table or ResBook in the online uh, restaurant reservation space, a company named ZocDoc, which is uh, effectively Open Table for doctor's appointments. I think that those are all, to me, local businesses, but each of them is so specialized in their area that they've actually created very competitive barriers to entry so that they're gonna be long-term sustainable businesses. Which particular verticals will be the fastest growing verticals going forward? That's a really interesting question. I think that the uh, companies that will be, or the verticals that will be the fastest growing will be inversely correlated to the level of perceived sophistication of the industry. What I mean by that is that there are some companies that require significant capital, uh, that are capital intensive, that tend to attract more sophisticated, more business savvy or more uh, technology savvy people those companies for the most part are already on the internet. Now they may have big dollars, but they're already, they may have big dollars and as a result they're big markets, but the growth rate will be much higher obviously at companies that haven't really adopted or industries that haven't necessarily yet adopted the internet. And so I think that the less sophisticated industries, I don't know which ones those are, but my tendency would be that they would be the less capital intensive businesses those will be the fastest growing segments of the marketplace going forward. One of the things that we'd done historically is we'd played almost right in the middle of, of the marketing world or the advertising world, meaning at one end you had presence type products where um, the key goal of a presence offering is to just make sure a merchant's information is accurate across a variety of different websites. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you've had what I call CPA oriented tools, which are cost per acquisition models where um, a, a provider, a business provider, is actually being paid only if somebody purchases or ultimately consumes products from a particular vertical. Um, so an example would be, again, Seamless, Grubhub, Open Table. Um, and I think that historically, CityGrid has really played right in the middle of providing a performance-based tool. Um, and at, over time, we hope to move from the middle to both ends or one end of the spectrum uh, pr with a presence type offering as well as CPA oriented tools. Uh, I think one of the things that's key for us is to start identifying particular verticals that we're gonna play more aggressively in because right now we have a very significant merchant base of tens of thousands of merchants and historically we'd really tried to build tools that were relevant for all of them. And I think going forward, in order for us to continue to be competitive, we're going to need to really specialize our focus and identify a small subset of verticals so that we can offer tools that are very relevant to them and help them to operate their businesses effectively. Facebook and Google are, are obviously enormous behemoths in, in uh, the Internet sector with billions of people interacting with their platforms every single month. And as a result, they are very often slow to introduce new features or new monetization strategies that are relevant to only a small vertical or only a small niche of, of constituents in their platforms because they're focused on areas where they can make one new improvement that's relevant to hundreds of millions or tens of millions of people for sure. And so I think going forward, companies need to be very selective about the areas and the approach and the business model that they're taking, focus on specific segments of the marketplace where there are meaningful inefficiencies, but that they're not necessarily enormous marketplaces. Historically, everyone always said, focus on multi-billion dollar industries. And the reality is, is that very significant businesses can be built going after a much smaller market and then moving to adjacencies, adjacencies beyond that. Why is it important for me to address the LSA crowd? Uh, this is a, a industry event with thought leaders from virtually all segments of the marketplace that we operate in, um, from internet yellow pages providers to companies that provide tools for the IYPs to large advertising agencies. And it's a great aggregation of thought leaders and operators that are gonna be the, uh, moving, moving the industry forward for a very long time.